Hi, this is a quick introduction to Git. So, um, if uh, you have to install Git, so this is the website that you should go to uh, Git SCM and go to this uh, download. Then you have the uh, system for your OS. Okay, so um, so this is the website. All right. So uh, what is a Git? Git is, is a version control system that basically keep track of changes that you make to the, the project. And the when we say uh, when we create something for the version control system to keep track, we would call it a re repository. Okay. So wh why do you want to keep track of changes? So basically. If you work alone, sometimes you want to go back in time and, 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 and revert the changes that you have made. That's uh, what one use of the version control system. And you can look at uh, the changes to figure out like where, so which part of the changes that you have made uh, causes some, some bug. So, and also because it keeps track of the changes and, and many people can make changes to this the, the, the project so it is a main tool for collaborate with other people okay all right so that's the rough idea of, of the the version control system git is a distributed version control system what it means we will we, we'll see soon so now let's let's um, take a look at how to use git by by example okay so uh, I'm I'm using Windows now, so that uh, many people look will look you know look familiar to to many people. Okay, so um, so let's tr to try to do something. Okay, so I'll create a, a web. So you don't need to know HTML, but just take a look at uh, how how Git works. Okay, so suppose this is my 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 place for the project. Okay. To get start, I need to call git init. Okay, git init. You use git init to create a new grid git repository in the current directory. Git init. Okay. After you call it, say uh, this uh, this is a, um, an empty git repository. Okay, and then um, so let's start by adding some file. So uh, I'm gonna write some stupid website. Um, I'm I'm gonna use this bracket uh, editor. It, it's it's a nice one. So if you don't know what to use, then uh, this might be something nice for you. So I I, I create a new file and save it as uh, index.html. Okay. So it's 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 a website. Okay. HTML. In a body, and this is uh, basically hello world. Okay, save. Um, when I create something, I all have to look at it to make sure that it works, right? Um, so let's take a look at it. My web. And say hello. So this is my first version of the software. Now, um, if we come back and look at the command line, um, this, the next command for git that I would like to tell you guys is, is this one, um, git status. If you call git status, you see that um, it would report the current status of the repository. It says um, you have nothing basically and then there's one untracked files index.html and nothing is added okay um, so uh, if you want to add it to the so I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm using the word add because uh, that's the git command but basically git does not track file but git track the snapshot of the the file system that you work on you see later soon so However, let's let's do it. Let's call git add. So this is the, the command, right? It git tell you, git tells you that uh, okay, use this command to include this in what to be committed. Okay, what what is the commit? So we we'll see soon. 
So add index dot html. So I, I use tab here because uh, command uh, Windows command is good enough to fill out stuff for me. So git add index dot html. Let's say git status again. Now it become green. Uh, it says that that this file, this part, this this is a new file and and this is the changes to be committed. Okay. So what is the commit? Okay, so uh, you add, you you tell Git that okay, this is the snap snapshot of the thing that you would like to uh, put in the version control in in the next commit. So let's say um, um, okay, uh, you call Git status to look at the stuff, and you tell Git to add the snapshot of the file and then you can tell git commit to save the current snapshot okay so let's call it git commit okay. if you just call git commit git would launch an editor so that you can say something about the commit okay so what is it what it is so let's, let's say uh, um, I, I should describe something so this is simple, simple. Shows no world page. Let's do that. So that that's the VI. That's one of the uh, um, editor that you might see, but we we're not gonna use it. Uh, you, you you may wanna learn it, but but we're not gonna require you to 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 learn it. Okay. So when when we say git commit, uh, it say it save the snapshot and it say uh, one file change and there's some blah 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 like that. Okay, so uh, there's a nice program called git k. So git tk, uh, if you call it, it would show the repository using some graphical user interface. Here, it says like uh, that's one commit and you have just add this file okay and and this is the content that you add okay so now let's make some change and then do some some let's try to add some more commits so when you make some change so let's add some nice uh, h1 h1 okay let's make it look nice okay so that is my okay so now you have a nice title so let's uh, try to add it to the next snapshot okay because it's nice I, I want to save it so let's call git status it say oh this file is mod modify okay but this is called change change is not state for the commit so before you can commit anything okay you have to put it in the, the staging area okay so git does not track file it tracks the content of the the, 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 the directory that you work work on so if you just call git commit at this point then git wouldn't do anything because there's no change added to the staging area so uh, to keep track of the new stuff you need to add it again so I call git add index.html. This might be uh, the like repetitive task, look like repetitive task, but we will have some shortcut later on. So I add git add index.html. Let's call git status one more time. Now this is the change to be committed. So let's call git commit again. But I'm not gonna just hit enter right now because I don't want you to really need to learn VI. So uh, let's call git commit and if you put dash um, dash m here uh, minus m here you can um, specify the commit message okay so but um, this is a command line argument so you need to put them in in this uh, double quote so let's say uh, add uh, header section then it save the thing to the the uh, repository now. So let's look git tk again. 
you see that uh, this is a new commit okay that the commit what you just change is is to remove this line and add this line so basically git track stuff line by line so if you've made change in some part of the line it would look like you add a new line okay so let's do it one more time so now uh, I wanna what do I want to do uh, I, I I would like to add the paragraph okay today is what day is it today today is Tuesday okay let's and then go back and take a look okay so this is my next change again if I call git status I would see there's some change this is this file has been changed okay this is the command git minus um, m dash m message okay you need to add it again right okay so um, I don't know what the change is so I I there's a git command called git diff the git diff would say uh, what is the change that you have just made okay so now I feel like oh okay this this might be a good uh, place for me to take a snapshot so I call git add index HTML now uh, if I call git diff again it say nothing because git diff would uh, compare the current working uh, snapshot uh, the cur current working file with the recently uh, staging uh, file so if you call git status you, it, it's, it is green so git diff you see nothing okay Okay, so that's uh, git diff. Okay, that's git diff. Okay, now uh, now if I look back at at my my website, I think um, I haven't committed, but I feel like yeah, maybe I should need to add another paragraph. Is very nice. now I haven't committed let's look at git status now if you look carefully you see that the file has been in the staging area and it is also in the not changes not stage for commit all right and if I call git diff I'll see that there's some difference you have made some changes to the file here okay but but the top three lines has been uh, put in the staging area so it won't show in the di it show in the diff as something has that has been staged now but the new lines is not uh, staged so it, it's appear here now if I just commit right away now let's call git status one more time if it if I commit right away um, the part that would be in the commit will only include the first three lines the Tuesday today's Tuesday but the second changes will, will not be in the commit now if I want to include everything in the commit again so I need to call git index add index.html again now it ch the the red lines has been gone and, and git diff show nothing okay so if I commit now add it to paragraph. everything will be in the commit okay call git k all right so let's let's do it one more time so I wanna add a new file now I wanna add a new file just put something here it's worth more more HTML That's a link. If I click it, then it's broken because I haven't have any file. So I new HTML. Save more HTML. This is the link. Okay. All right. Body.
So now suppose you have a new file, so you can click see more and, and there's something more here. Okay, so what should we do? Okay, so again we call git status. You see that you modify index.html. You have some more file, so you can call git add index.html. So that's to include the changes that you have made, and you can call you can add more.html here to the snapshot. Okay, so um, let's do it. Oh, that's fine. Um, it complains a little bit about the new line, so uh, that that's fine, I think. Okay, so um, uh, so now let's call git status two files in the system. So let me call git commit and uh, more page. Um, so before we do that, let's 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 make some change to the more page. More, 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 more. Okay, let's do that. Let's see more, 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 more. Okay. Now, uh, if you look at Git status again, you see uh, as we have done before, more appear in, in two places. Now, if you com wanna commit everything, then you need to add it again. So let's call Git. However, let's look at this Git. Okay for it shows something nice okay you see two two more uh, something which look like a commit here but not exactly so it says this green one with the green dot say these are the changes that has been put in the staging area that you sh add this line and, and add more and more right but then there's this red thing this is uncommitted changes this is a file that you haven't put in the the, the system. Okay, so I can just add it and it be done. And then I need to call git commit. And then I need to call git commit minus m blah 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 blah. Now that's a shortcut. Okay, because people have to do this all the time. You need to add everything again. So so if you sure that you want to include everything that every changes that you made to the track that file. You can just call git commit right away with dash a. Dash a is automatically add. So it's add everything that you have in the file that you have tracked into the commit. So dash a. And then I want to put some uh, message on it, right? So add a more page. Okay. Now uh, you can shortcut this event further to be com commit dash am so the a is automatically add everything and m is the message but let's separate it for now so that you can see the that i'm using two two commands at the same time so i call git commit dash a dot dash m now everything has been committed and git tk wouldn't say i have anything left and this add more page take uh, you know the newly added modified page into the snapshot okay so the last command for for the current clip is git log if you call git log it will show you all the commits that you've made and every commit is come with the ID this is the char uh, SSA1 uh, signature of the of the commit okay so you can refer to this commit as uh, with this uh, commit ID okay so that's it for now the let's look at the command that we have learned for a little bit okay so you use git init git tk is for showing the graphical user interface for the status of the repository you call git status to show the status git add git commit so you have your new file you call git add you, if you want to take the snapshot of the current content call git add and then you need to commit it you can commit with the message with the git commit minus m you need to add stuff again if you it's a snapshot it's git does not track file again so it tracks the content you can show the difference by git diff 
you can automatically add all the tracked file all the changes in the tracked files in the commit by putting the slash a here and finally you have git log to show you the log of the repository okay thank you um see you in the next clip